Anybody desperate for a beach break? Me too. Kicking us off at number 12 is a beach in Portugal's famous Algarve region. It's just a 15 minute drive from the holiday town of Albufeira and a great excuse to escape the holiday masses. What's great about this beach is the beautiful rock formations that have been created over time due to erosion. It's really quite something. Number 11 is Praia de Santa Maria, a stunning white sand beach in the capital of the island of Sal in Cape Verde. From the beach you can watch the hustle and bustle of the fishing pier, which is the soul of the town. And locals say you haven't been to Sal until you've jumped off the pier. So if you're up for the challenge, then you've got to take the plunge. Portmere Beach in St Ives Cornwall is one of England's little gems and my number 10. It's a long sandy beach in the heart of the town and popular with families and surfers alike, having one of the best surf schools in the country. At number nine, it's Algolfo Beach in Lanzarote. It's a volcanic beach on the outskirts of the Tim and Fire National Park with completely black sand. On one end of the beach, is a bright green lake called El Lago Verde and on the other end is a small seaside town of El Golfo which has excellent seafood restaurants and walks. At number eight is Klong Prao Beach on the island of Koh Chang in Thailand, a beach that will help you forget your troubles and blissfully relax. I recommend going to watch the sunset and then getting a table on one of the beachside restaurants to watch the spectacular fire show done by locals. At number seven, it's Pla de las Teresitas, a long sandy beach in Tenerife, just outside the capital of Santa Cruz. This beach is in the north of the island, which means it's much quieter than any beach you're gonna find in the south, which attracts a lot of tourists. Unwantana is enjoyed by locals and tourists alike. With palm trees, white sands, blue waters to surf and swim, it's easy to see why. And in at number five, it's Pla Madeiras in Nicaragua. This is a super relaxed and rustic surf beach, but it comes with the biggest and best sunset I have ever seen. Take me back. We've made it to number four, and it's Kite Beach in Dubai, which is a beautiful beach, but it's also great to come to to have a lot of fun. There's kite surfing, beach volleyball, beach tennis, yoga, kayaking, plus you'll get some great views of the Burj Al Arab. Moving in to the top three, and at number three is Reynis Viara, a beach on Iceland's south coast, and one of the most beautifully haunting places in the world. The beach is famous for a rock stack that, according to legends, is the remains of trolls that stayed out to sea for too long and turned into stone at dawn. And at number two is Playa Norte, a beach on the small paradise island of Isla Mujeres in Cancun, Mexico. This beach is breathtakingly beautiful. Think white sands and crystal clear oceans. I recommend renting a golf buggy when you get off the boat. To find the beach, and to explore the island in full. And we've made it. My number one best beach in the world is Anthony Quinn Bay on the Greek island of Rhodes. Climb down the cliff edge to discover a bay of turquoise waters and rugged terrain, it's like a secret oasis. Fun fact, the beach is named after the actor Anthony Quinn who fell in love with the beach when filming The Guns of Navarone. Quinn was then gifted the bay in recognition of the film. And if you come for yourself, you'll see why he was blown away by its beauty. If you've got a favorite beach, then let me know in the comments below and then subscribe to our channel. See you again soon for the next World's Best.